Integration by parts is the second method of integration that you learn after use of. Its use is um, for integrating products of functions. Uh, whereas use substitution is like the counterpart for integrals uh, to the chain rule. Integration by parts is like the reversal of the product rule. Uh, rule goes, right? You'll have a product of two functions, u and v prime, where these two things are functions of x. And so the, the formula goes, the integral of this times this is uv minus the integral of u prime v. So what it does is it takes, a, it takes an integral of a product of functions and turns it into uh, a, a different integral expression that is presumably easier to do than the original one was. All that you have to do is pick the appropriate choice of u and v. You see, the integral that you wind up with is, once you identify the two functions, you're going to turn it into an equivalent expression involving the derivative of one of the functions and the antiderivative of the other one. The, pro uh, the process is a success if the integral that you wind up with is easier than the one that you started with. So this is the classic example, uh, the first one, integration by parts. What you have to do is choose u and v prime as appropriate. So what I do is I, I always list u, v prime, u prime, and v. And when you look at this, you think, all right, um, if I were to differentiate this and get 1, and anti-differentiate this and get e to the x, their product is itself easy to integrate. So that's how you pick what u and v prime are. So we have these here. So we're going to let x be the one that we differentiate. That's u, and v prime will be e to the x. So then u prime is 1, v is, again, e to the x. So then according to the parts formula, this equals uh, uv, which is x e to the x, minus the integral of 1 times e to the x, e to the x. <clears throat> So it's a success because we wound up with something easier, and that's easy to carry out. You just get x e to the x minus uh, e to the x plus c. And you can check this with uh, di differentiation. You do the product rule, and that's what's going to pop out. Of course, um, if you pick the wrong choice of u and v prime, then the problem that you wind up with is more difficult. Example of that, I use the same problem here. If instead v prime u prime v, if I went with this for the v prime and this for u, watch what happens. Uh, you have e to the x is u and v prime is x. u prime is still e to the x, but v is the um, antiderivative of this, so it's one half x squared. And when you go to apply the formula, you get well, x squared. You get one half x squared e to the x minus the integral of, well, one half x squared e to the x. And it's, it's, you wind up with something that's more complicated than the thing that you started with. So that's how you know if you, um, if you m mess it up and you have to go back and uh, try a, a different combination of u and v. Uh, the next example that usually pops up is just this by itself. And u v prime u prime v. And it doesn't appear to be a parts problem at first because there's only one function in there, but what you gotta do is you have to sort of insert your own sort of phantom one hiding in there, right? You can just pretend that there is a one there and then carry out parts that way. So one is gonna be either u or v prime, and the other one is gonna, and l and x is gonna be the other one. Which way should we go? Well, you notice if you anti-differentiate one, that'll give you x, and if you differentiate l and x, it gives you one over x. Their product is one which is easy to integrate. So that's how you know how to make, how to pick uh, your choice of u and v prime. Let one be the uh, function that you're going to integrate and l and x. Actually, we really didn't have a choice for u and v prime anyway, because if we went to make v prime equal to l and x, we would need to anti-differentiate it, which we, that was the original problem. Uh, so to carry it out, okay, uh, u prime is one over x, v is uh, x, and according to the formula, it turns into uh, uv, which is x ln x, minus the integral. Okay, that was u times v minus the integral of 1 over x times x, which is 1 dx. So that's easy to do. You get x ln x minus the integral of that is x 
plus C. You can check your answer with differentiation, and that's it.